So my friends, I welcome you back to Siege of Dragonspear. Let's continue straight away. This is take three, I think. Oh, we're starting already in here. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, so, I wanted to have Cookie Coin Challenge, is what I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is not exactly working. Um, let me find two, or recruit, I would say, two new team members uh, to our group of Merry Adventurers. 200 cookie coins. How may I be of um, so, in my first attempt, I was actually walking out here. I'm gonna do this. I know already what he's going to say. I'm gonna do this for you. So yes, you friend. Know, Can I be of service? Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay. I haven't seen this. Last time I spoke to him, he recognized me. Now he don't. Okay, you could be if you uh, were to face uh, Sailor by my side. Perhaps you've spent some time in the company of those who fled Caesar's Crusade. What have you learned about her? Let's take number two, because when I spoke to him first and second time, he rejected helping us out. Then he referred me as a friend. He knew me. Now he don't. So what happens? The monk has made his intentions clear. This pathetic attempt to elicit guilt for his decision is beneath thee. <laughs> okay. Ask so this... me anything but that. And I will do what I can to help you. Please excuse me then. I have matters I must attend to. Okay, let's do it like this, um, because I want to show you the conversation. Let's see, let's take... I guess this one then. It is good to be on the road again, Mintz. Thou, I, and You've a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. Good idea. You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. Okay, good idea. I'll be returning to the palace shortly. Let me go have here. To ask. So we have one person here, we have one person here, and... Oh, we were at the Elf Song already. Crap, so it's only two people left to find. And this guy, you have but to ask. for some reason, rejects us. It's so buggy. This is something that I... We should reach the I... Iron Throne building soon. Eltan wanted you to speak with a Salunite monk helping out there. Name of Rasad in Bashir. Yeah, I don't know why they want us to talk to him. Because he doesn't help us out. This is the problem. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Perhaps I should Google it. I don't know. But The Iron Throne building doesn't look the same as the last time you were here, does it? The council's using it to house refugees fleeing the crusade. The Grand Dukes thought so. The day-to-day -day operations are handled by priests and monks of different faiths. I'll be here if you need me. Try not to get into any trouble. I'm about to sneeze. And I'm back. I do love a mute button what on is my it head. This time? Wait. Okay, so let's ask. try to go up and talk to him again. <clears throat> Losing my what voice. Is, is it truly you I see before me? Yeah, this is the conversation I was looking for. Well met, Rashad. Um, it is good to see you again. I'm thinking about taking another one, perhaps, because this one didn't work. There are few in this city who don't know the hero of Baldur's Gate. But what brings you back to this place? I'll take it you know of the of Sailor's Crusade. Uh, an impending journey to the north. I need people of skill and honor, people I can trust by my side. I need you. 
Uh, come morning, I shall embark on a journey north to face Sealer Argent. Um, I would have you beside me. I was uh, taking some time to reflect on where I've been and where I'm going. I'll leave you to your labors. Farewell. Let's take this one. You mean to take the battle to the Shining Lady then? Yes. You know there are few things I would not do for you, my friend. But I cannot help you with this. Yeah. While most focus on Kalar's crusade, another, more subtle darkness is spreading. In the past few weeks, many servants of Selune have vanished. Art thou certain foul play has occurred? These are turbulent times. Perhaps thy colleagues are engaged in their own business and simply neglected to tell thee. I cannot deny the possibility, but it is a risk I cannot afford to take. Forgive me. There is no to forgive, my friend. The Silunites need you. I shall manage. Your company will be missed, Rashad. Fare thee well, I hope we meet again. Fine, waste your time with the rubble. With sheep and the memories of your brother um, to keep you company. I don't need you or anyone else to uh, help me deal with the sh shining lady. Let's take... Um, I guess number two. I took the first one previously. As do I. May the Moon Maiden smile upon you in your efforts. Rashad will not join me. This is the problem. They are it pointing us to wish. all of these directions. All, all of these places. And you have but to ask. nowhere can we find anyone to join us. We have found three people this far. Um, the, the lady, I don't even remember her name, Thief or whatever she was, is the only one that has joined except for these two. You have but to ask. We're almost to Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. TX. It's good in ways that she reminds us of our of the names because I would never remember that. Who might you be? Thanks for the shelter, my flaming fist friends. Oh, that was really difficult. Um, aside from the urine and come, okay. I am drunk like crazy. I talked to. I will do what I can to help you. Ah, oh, hello, hello. And how are you this fine day, night, whatever it is? I said move along, you Adler drunkard. Please offer the officer, the poor fellow is obviously in distress. What happened to him? Best move along there, sir. You uh, don't want to upset the flaming feast. They tend to bellow and Judging by the greyness of your skin and the redness of your eyes, you've enough of a headache as it is. Listen to the mercenary, you reeking no wit. Lack wit, sorry, lack wit. I've no time to waste on the likes of you. Let's take number one. By poor man, you mean um, once Lord Dustin, late of the old, uh, late of the order of the Aster. Ask him yourself if you really want to know. He delights in telling the tale. You do me a dis hic disservice. I take no joy in my story, but I hope it will, will, will deter those tempted to, to walk the low road of drink, the battery and hit the battery. I said it twice. <laughs> Tell me a story, Lord Dostum. Uh, uh, Do There's few things I like better than a uh, good uh, tale of the butchery and the butchery. Let's hear it. I've no time to listen to a fallen knight's tale of woe begun. Attend my words, heed me, 
that you may stay strong where I uh, where I was weak. Stay true where I faltered. Stay, stay. Did I mention strong? Um. Anyway, as a paladin in the order of the Aster, I served a great man. Aun Argent was his name. Can that be Sailor's father? Possibly husband? A more worthy servant Lathander has never had. A worthy soul then. But... If you served under him, how have you come to this? Own Argent, you say? Is he any relation to Sailor Argent? I've no interest in tales of the thunderous puppets. Be gone. The tales I could tell you of Sealar, my friend. She was a hilarious child, but her uncle, noble or okay uncle, was uh, patient with her. It cost him everything. It cost me everything. I... I... Anyone who gets in my way eats an arrow. Got it? Okay. Let's go in then. He'll be out for days now. He, uh, see if he isn't. I'll leave him to the vultures. But uh, for all his faults, he's a good enough sort. He seems to know uh, Sealer Argent. Has he told you anything of her? I'll take your word for it. Before he collapsed, he was uh, he was talking about Sailor. Sailor, Kaylor. I still don't know how to pronounce her name. You waste your time and flaming fist resources in caring for that uh, begotten blackwit, besotten blackwit. Um, she seem he seemed to know. Sealer Argent. She caused his fall, or so he claims. He never, he's never been very clear on how exactly. Something to do with his uh, mentor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll. Um, I've a fallen paladin to lug to a cell. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Back to the streets. Head down the hall and keep uh, keep on going through the central chamber into the wing opposite side this one. Okay, straightforward then. Or just follow the ranting. Neither one neither one will get you to the either one get you to the maniac. I'll wait here. What's this? Back to the streets. So which one is that? Back to the streets. Oh, here. A fallen paladin named Torston told me a bit about Orn Argent. Outside of the Flaming Fist jail, I met a fallen paladin of Lathander, Torston, formerly of the Order of Aster, of the Aster. Um, he told, started to tell the tale of his master, uh, one Orn Argent, once a great paladin, Orn somehow fell from grace. It seems to have had something to do with uh, Sealer. But before I could hear the whole of the tale, Dostan collapsed. Okay. You have but to ask. I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of this episode. Um, cookie coins? Ah, oh, there he is. Because my original idea was to bet 200 cookie coins on getting two more people into our... Yeah, I must have mentioned that. I have to check, actually. That's not gonna happen. Because the problem... Oh, I never finished that thought, actually. The problem is that 
they send us to all these different places within the city and we have people rejecting them for different reasons because they have different problems or have stuff to do but we can't help them like if we could help help him with um, with the missing people and he said oh you were so kind to help me out I will join you in your in your fight but that's not what's happening it's like it's like it's a hard cut no no matter what options I'm selecting it's a hard cut I will not help you I have better things to do be gone it's so bugging you come here TX commands you well met TX um, how are you doing this morning Oh right, you're like this. I'll be going now. Um, no one commands me. Let's take number one. I want this guy to join me. Uh, how is TX doing? What sort of question is that for the master of all? I would not want to upset the master of all by being rude. Master of all, you? My time is valuable, madman. I'll waste no more of it on you. Let's take number one. Then you are wise. Perhaps when uh, TX takes what is rightfully his, you will be spared. You may go now. Before I do, I have a boon to ask you. Yes, I think that would be uh, best. Be for the best. Aha! Finally, he gets to the point. You want something from TX. Well, what is it? What can this humble servant of, Almight uh, of Almighty Cleric, Siric, uh, do for you? I was going to ask you to join me on a journey north. You believe your, uh, you believe you're humble. Help me kill kill a woman named Zilar. He kind of like it when we are going straight to the point. It looks like. So let's take number th one, three, one, three, one, three. Um, three. Zero, you say. TX has heard, has heard his name many times. His court echoes with the name Sealer, Sealer, Sealer. What do these voices say? I'll take it by court. You actually mean jail cell. Help me kill Sealer. We will silence those voices together. What do they say? What do the voices say? They say I am TX, master of this world and everything other and every other. Ha! Huh. My god slew your god, fool. And then he declared TX will be the lord of all. He wasn't my god, he was my father. You're crazier than your god. You know that, right? I should kill you where you stand, you wretched piece of filth. Let's take number one. It matters not. He is dead and Cyrix ha uh, at Cyrix's hand. Ha ha ha. What do you want with TX? The lord of the land, seas and sky. Balbred. I was going to ask you to join me on a journey north. I want him as far away from me as possible. I want you to help me find and eliminate Sailor the Shining Lady. So now we're back basically to the same options that we had before. Nay, Siric has given Tiax a vision. You go to your doom, child of Baal. Tiax will not join you. He will stay here in his court, where it is safe. Siric has declared it so. Are you sure? I tried to change your mind if I believed I, uh, you actually possessed one. You are as useless as your god. Let's take number three. Fear the dark sun. Well, that was time well spent. TX has spoken, begun. I mean, what's the point? Literally no one is joining us. Why? 
why are we going to these people, talking to them, wasting our time, when no one is joining us? What? I don't understand what I'm you doing. Okay, I hate this. Place. I don't. I don't understand what I'm doing. I'll grow tall, but require slumber. I really don't. It shall be as you wish. Why is everyone so slow? Uh, okay, let's go back to the Ducal Palace then. There is nothing more we can do. It shall be as you wish. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, now what? We need to find... What was her name? I can only assume I that they trust. will join us later on. Now we've, we've talked to them. Paste that her. Wait, let's go back. Yeah. How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. Have you completed your preparations? Once we start marching north, there will be no coming back to the city. Let's wait for a second. Let's take a hard save. Um, I'm not sure I need to think about it. I need a few more things. I'm going ahead. Out into the city. Alright, I'll be... I'll be up well yet. Okay, let's do like this. We take save game. Uh, leaving the city. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll see you on the morrow. Word is your friend Imoen's mostly recovered from the Crusader poison. If you want to speak with her, just remember. Once you go up to your room, I'll leave to begin preparing for the journey. You won't get another chance to head out into the city. I know. Where is she then? Okay, let's take... Ah, I come on, computer. To it in a trice. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Um, I shall attend to it in a trice. Can't remember where we found her. It would be nice to talk to her once before we leave. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You have but to ask. So this is the Slayer of Saravok, the hero of Baldur's Gate. How pleased I am to make your acquaintance. Who might you be? As I am sure, I will be yours once you tell me who, how you got in here. The Slayer of who now? I think you got the wrong idea about me, friend. You haven't made it yet. Perhaps I'm who you say, perhaps not. Either way, what is it to you? If it is security you desire, it would be prudent to reconsider your sleeping arrangements. I suspect the palace's weaknesses have become all too apparent to you of late. Yes. Strange. There lies within you barely a spark of divine consciousness, yet you bested your brother in blood. How? What is it that drove you to victory where so many others fell in defeat? The teachings of my foster father, Gorion, saw me through. Saravok was weak, ill-prepared for a real challenge. Bard's blood runs strong within me. He has said the opposite. Sar Sarevok was a fool. 
He underestimated its power and paid a price for it. Let's take number one. Gorion. His death was the first step of your current journey, was it not? I wonder what wisdom did he impart that left such an impression? He taught me to value knowledge. Though not the lesson he might have uh, wished I learned, Gorion showed me that power is the key to success. He demonstrated kindness in every aspect of his life. He made certain I knew what I needed to know to survive. Hmm, let's take number three. Why not? Interesting. We will see if that is enough to bear you through the trials ahead. You do not see it yet, but another crossroads in your journey lies before you. One you will reach sooner than you think. The path you choose is of interest to me. Your path could lead in many directions. You waver, unsure whether to claim credit for your deeds or to brush them aside. I can offer you clarity. But we can speak more of this in time when I am certain that you are the one I seek. Who are you? What do you want? The one you seek? Are you measuring my worth then? Enough gibberish. If you'll not speak plainly to me, perhaps you'll be more forthcoming with the flaming frist guards. Hmm, let's take number one. Suffice it to say that I am a man who has lost much, but would regain some measure of what was taken from me. That is all you need now. Okay. I am not here to act, not yet. I am here to evaluate. Are you worthy? Is what you carry within enough? Are you strong enough to overcome the challenges you shall soon face? Only the passage of time will provide us answers. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I will be watching. Hmm. No? I must be alert on the presence of the hooded man. Ah, oh, this is him when nice, she's on her feet. That I... makes me happy. Oh, you're back. Sorry if I don't seem excited to see you. Poison really takes a toll. I really hope she will join. No, we have a thief, she will not join. No, she will definitely not. Imwen, it's good to see you up and about. How are you doing? What was that man in the hood doing here? You look well, Imwen. Are you ready to pay Sealer back? Let's start with number one. Oh, I've been in worse shape. You know the kind of scrapes I get into? But never mind that for the moment. We need to talk about you going to Dragonspear Castle. Don't do it. Don't go. I'm healing. But you need to heal, too. Not just from fighting Saravok. Those are just cuts and scars. But in coming to terms with... You know... What you are. Let someone else take care of the Shining Lady. Please. Would that I could, but Selar has forced my hand. The city needs me. What would you have me do? Sailor and her crusade must never be allowed to attack us again. Mm, let's take number two. We are very unselfish. I'd have you tell the city to take a long walk off a short pier. That's why I'd have you do. But you won't, will you? I know that look in your eyes. I'm wasting my breath. Promise me you'll be careful, all right? I don't know what I'd do if... We've just lost too many people, you know? I'm gonna leave now. Take care of yourself. Ah, oh, we couldn't have the other options.
Hey, 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 hey. Are you awake? I am now, Ski. What are you doing here? Never mind. Uh, go do it somewhere else now. Let's take number one. You can't tell Daddy Duke Silvershield about this. About what? I don't even know what this is. Why are you here? Number two. I've joined the Flaming Fist! Okay. Your father allowed that? You say that like it's an accomplishment. No, you haven't. Get out. Uh, let's take number one, I guess. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Daddy would never permit it. I joined under a false name. <laughs> nice. Life as a noble is boring and stupid. I want to do something great with my life. And also get out of this dirty old city. And maybe meet some handsome soldiers. So, I'm going north with you. Nice. So she will join. This is wonderful news. Well, that's something. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's take number I one. I know! Alright, go back to sleep. I'll see you in... Oh, I guess you don't really have time to sleep now. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Remember, whatever you do, don't tell Daddy about this. Here is the hero, raring and ready to go. The early bird catches the evil worm. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boo? Yes. I I to to the sooner we reach Dragonspear Castle, the sooner ah, we shall on. learn whether they father so spawned Kalar as well as How the Encerdoc. I shall attend to it in a trice. It was too what is it this time? I shall attend to it in a trice. Let's see, we actually have our stuff here. Let's quickly go through and see what we have on foot. He has his stuff on him still. Oh, that's good. She doesn't have a lot, but she didn't have a lot either previously. She has everything that she had before, so... Yes. That's fine. It shall be as you wish. Nothing. You have but to ask. You have but to ask. Our prayers and hopes go with you. With your help, I'm sure we'll be able to stop the crusade before it grows any stronger. The Fleming Fist travels with you under the command of Captain Corwin and Corporal Duncan. I am sorry that Duke Elton could not be present, but the ongoing crisis has called his attention elsewhere. Is there anything else you need before you depart? What route will we take? Can you go over the mission again? Um, nothing. Let's take number two first. At Dragonspear Castle, you'll rendezvous with troops from Waterdeep and Daggerford and bring an end to Kalar Argent's crusade, one way or another. Is there anything else? What route? Ah, it, <laughs> it's not narrative. Oh, they, they really need to work on narration of perhaps not everything, but at least stuff like this. You'll have to travel by major roads. Um, the contingent is too large to move swiftly over land. You'll cross the winding water at the coastway crossing. Then it's straight uh, a straight march to Dragonspear. Is there anything else? No. May the gods look upon you with favor. May Tarmora smile on you, Hector. If anything can end this threat of the city, it is you. You'd better get moving, unless there was something else. Mm, Duke Silvishid, I had one more thing to speak of you, a family matter. No, thank you, I'll be on my Speak with Captain Corwin by the main doors, and be on your guard. 
The trip north will likely hold dangers beside the crusade. I want Ski to join us. So I'm not gonna write her out. Now is this moment, guy. Safana, that's her, she joined. Really? I don't know. I recognize that name, but I can't place it. I shall tend to come to wish us good fortune in our travels, boo! That should be her. Yeah. Enter. No, Elton, I don't know. I recognize that name. We only had one extra person to join us. I mean, that's embarrassing. I'm going to miss you so much, Roma. Mama! Oh, that's her daughter. Um, who is that? Is that the hero? Captain Corbin. Who is this delightful child? You have children, Captain. Uh, the time for farewells is over. We must be on our way. If you're quite finished with this nauseating display. I'm not a child. I'm one, two, three, four, five, five years old. I stand corrected. Treasure your years. Whatever the, their number is, child. For they will pass quickly. This is my daughter, Roma. Roma, this is Hector. I know you. You you killed Sarva. Are you gonna kill uh, Sealar too? I think your mother should probably answer that. Uh, I'm hoping it won't come to that. Only if the opportunity presents itself. I'll tell you if I know <coughs> Roma. Corwin. Um, I hate to take you away, but we really should get moving. Um, let's take number four. Give me a moment. You do what your grandpa says while I'm gone, all right? I will, Mama. Good. I love you, Roma. Are you ready to leave? I'm ready. What are you doing? Cheering? Cheering for a sibling of Sarava. Um, that's what they are. They found Sarava's journal. It revealed the truth. But the Council of Four wants to keep it a secret. Is that true, Hector? Are you a child of Baal? Come on. You're questioning the hero of Baldur's Gate. I can handle this, Captain Corwin. Ignore them, Corwin. They do, and I shall answer them. That's a bad idea. Hear me, people of uh, Baldur's Gate. I know you suffered in Sarvok's hands. I know you fear what the future holds with the uh, heretic sailor driving good people from their homes across the salt coast. I hear your cries for justice. And I swear to you, I shall end this threat to all, to us all. You're probably right. Um, hear me, people of Baldur's Gate. I am a ball spawn, like my half brother Serva before me, and I am your only shield against uh, what comes your own, what comes your only sword. Wait, wait. I am your only shield against what comes. Your only sword. Okay, never mind. I follow. Only one with a divine uh, coursing through their veins could hope to thwart the child of a god. And only one can end the threat of Sailor Argent. Now stand aside. Lest you feel my wrath. Let's take number one. Well done. Let's be on our way before some other wind turns to crowd against us.
Captain Shale Corwin and her aide, Corporal Bence Duncan, maintain order in the caravan from Baldur's Gate. Some who joined the expedition are unaccustomed to flaming fist discipline. Hard lessons are learned in the early days of the march north. The journey is slowed by the Crusade's victims. A multitude of broken, haunted men and women clog the coast way. When asked, they speak of fields set aflame, granaries ransacked, and family conscripted by the Crusade. Yet many characterize these hardships as necessary sacrifices in pursuit of a greater good. A strange acceptance, even admiration of Kalar Argent is disconcertingly common in those she has wronged. Some proclaim the Shining Lady a prophet, doing the work of not one but all faiths, all gods. Is it possible Kalar Argent's cause is a righteous one? Or is she engaged in a great deception to further her own agenda, as Saravak once did? And what of your goals? Many souls were lost during the Dragon Spear Wars. I will see justice done and restore them to the light. Yes, quite honorable. But what makes you think yourself capable of achieving this, Kayla Argent? You dare befoul my person with your magics? Blood is something to behold not fear. Your divine heritage radiates from you. From which of your parents, mother or father? Enough of these games and enough of your questions. Heffernan, get this mage out of my sight. At once, my lady. We will have words about this, scarred one. Perhaps. Ah, it has been too long since Minsk journeyed with such a fine companion. This group shows promise. Extraordinary. Okay. We are in the camp. Safana is here. Tired. Him we haven't spoken to. Hopefully he can join us. Who are you? Patricius. Perhaps him too. We'll see. Uh, I will finish the episode here. In the next episode we will start by talking to people around the camp. So we have some people with actual names. Quite a lot of people actually. Hopefully some of them can join me. I'm very disappointed after um, after this um, <laughs> failure of recruitment that we had in Baldur's Gate. So I rarely invalidate my bets. I think I did a bet in the beginning of the episode. Otherwise I did that in, in my first and second take. I can't remember honestly. But my original bet was 200 cookie coins to uh, recruit two extra people. But there was no one we could recruit in Baldur's Gate. Even though Adventure they told us that they, they were friends Can and we should talk it? to them. Perhaps so yeah, I'm not gonna count this. Candy. We are still on 3000 uh, cookie coins. This is not a fail in my book. Because they didn't give us a chance to actually win. So yeah, that happened. Anyways, uh, please like and subscribe. I will try to play My this a little bit more often. Activity. I haven't played this we for like, I don't know, three weeks or something. Because I've been so busy with moving. I've been focusing on Gears of War. Which I actually finished a few days back. And yesterday I started Gears of War 2. For uploading in December when I go to India. Uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for today, and I thank you so much for watching. Adventure Stay safe, take care, Can and as always, I Perhaps see you only means next time. Eat. Let us go, and I will lead us in the direction of adventure!